Okay, what are we looking at now in the herb family? Right, we're looking at thyme. Excellent. Okay, so thyme is, <laughs> has got itty bitty seeds. The seeds are like dust. Oh, are they? Yeah, so if you sow them, yeah. it takes a month for them to get that big. That's a month? That's a month. Wow. So, these plants are going to speed up, but you're not going to get very big plants. If okay. you're lucky, each one of those is going to make a plant about this big by the end of summer. Wow, okay. So it so, takes a while. Yeah. However, uh, in a local supermarket, I found this pot of thyme. <laughs> yeah. Thyme is very, very easy to do from cuttings. In fact, if you look at it in the base, it's already starting to root. Okay. So what you could do with this is just simply tear it to pieces and plant each individual sprig and it will probably grow as a new plant. It will but it's long and gangly, isn't it? Yeah, well, you can, if you want to do that, you can clip it back and just leave the base. If you harvest it, you know, in the kitchen and then kind of take each individual plant, it will make new plants. So if you cut that, like a head, a, you know, like cutting mm. here, if you cut it down, the rest, it would grow from there, would it? Or there's too, up, yeah. there's too many plants in well, there? Well, there's lots of plants, but, you know, there's loads of buds which are ready to go all the way down the plant. Oh, yeah. So it'll just come back. Uh, I mean, it'll come back because the wood's green. Once, 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 a lot of herbs, once they start to get brown at the base, then some of them lose the capacity to regenerate. But when it's green like this, yeah, just give it a massive haircut. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a lawn. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you've got billions of plants in here. You could just divide up and, and plant on. And if you plant, plant them a bit deep so they can root from the stem because you would have kind of destroyed the really damaged original root system. Okay. You'll grow a new one from the stem. The other thing you can also do is if you really want lots of plants is take cuttings. Oh, really neat shot. Take it so what I'm going to do with this is Take off the bottom leaves. Yeah. And thyme is one of those very easy herbs you can do in a glass of water. Now, this is going to be new for me because I've never done thyme in a glass of water. We've done rosemary and that, oh, this is a very bad glass of water because it's very, very deep. Right. But, yeah. So the same, the same as basil, a shallow same little as basil, glass. Or, while you're at it, same as any mint you want to do. Mint, oh. really easy from cuttings. Oh, not quite what I want to do there. Cut to a node with a sharp pair of secateurs. Yeah. Blade facing the bud the bit you want to keep because that's a bit does not bruise. Okay. The stem, pinch off the bottom leaves, in it goes. You can okay. also do this with rosemary. Right. Works really well. So yeah, these are just some quick ways of bulking up the herbs you buy from the, sh from the shops. Brilliant. If you get, like, if you want to make loads of mint for mint tea, if I either go to the Chinese shop or any Middle Eastern shop and get a big bag of mint tea mint, it's a different species, Menta spicata, each, each spring is a new plant, so you can bark up your stock really fast and have a lot of mint tea right through the summer. Brilliant. Got just one pack of herbs. Much faster than if you did it for the pack of the seeds yep. and probably for about the same price. Okay, brilliant. Thank you, Fabrice. No worries.